Hey guys, today in this video we're going to build a tone stack. Um, and that's just a very simple tone stack. It could be in, a, in your guitar, um, in an amplifier, leading to or from an amplifier. Um, all depends, you know, wh what application you're using it for. But basically we're going to bring an input signal in. We're going to run it through a volume control to rate, you know, up or down the amount that's going to the amp. Sometimes you don't want to be loud. Sometimes you want to scream. So that's what the volume control is for. Um, this will end up being the master volume control for the Leslie that we're building. And then we're going to add a tone control and we're going to add a modern day 047 capacitor and orange drop. Uh, that'll go here, be grounded back, again tied into the loop. We'll explain all this as we go. Um, to build this, we have a cute little billboard here. And uh, nice label tone, volume, and our input. Output will just be random wires running out because they can go to anywhere from here. Um, so, to do this project, we're going to need the following items soldering supplies, wire and strippers, and times are hard, you can always, you know, do the old burn the wire. Potentiometers, of course, because, well, we always need potentiometers and wire because that's what controls our resistance. A guitar jack. Capacitors of choice, whether that be a vintage oil and paper like this one or a modern day orange drop. And there's even other ones, lemon drop, so on and so forth. Pick the sound you're looking for. So now that we know everything that we're going to need to do this, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to connect the tip of our jack, which is the positive of the jack, to the right hand lug of the volume pot. Now we're looking at the back of the pots here. We want our volume to be up to the right and down counterclockwise. So we're going to take it from the tip, which is this lug over here on this side, over to the first lug here, and we're going to bring the ground from the the sleeve lug here. And we're just going to bring it around here and put it on the back of the volume. Well, those are our input connections made. Uh, again, it's just. The sleeve comes into the back of the pot, and the tip comes into the right hand lug of the back of the volume pot. Now I'm going ahead and grounded back the left lug of the volume pot. Now the third is our output. So that's what's going to go off to our amplifier or preamp, whatever you're using. But it also has a jumper that comes around over to this side. To the tone and that's what bleeds off the additional frequency through the capacitor into the ground of the tone so we're going to put in that jumper wire now and the capacitor now as well as since it's a double wire going into this one terminal here in the center we're going to stick them both in at the same time before we solder them one will again be for the output the other one will come across here and connect to the tone controls left hand lug here come all the way around to the left and that's will be what sucks off the voltage. So solder those in now and get back for our final connections. And here's our completed circuit. Um, and you see everything's grounded together. Um, the initial ground which comes from your input is the sleeve which is tied to the back of the volume pot. The left hand lug is tied back to the volume pot with a small piece of wire. The volume pot and the tone pot are tied together with a jumper. The capacitor, which bleeds off the higher frequency sounds, is on the center lug and tied back to the ground. Now the output ground, which is this wire running here, is also tied to a pot. So that's our complete grounded circuit. Everything is completed in the ground. Now for the positive, it comes in from the tip of your jack, comes around to the right hand lug of the volume control, and then it goes in here and depending on where the wiper is, is how much gets bled off. Now out of the center lug here, or the wiper, is what we have two wires. One leads off to your output with this wire here, this is your output. And the other links back around to the left hand lug of the tone control 
which then in turn has I put a, a 047 capacitor in here. Let's wipe that off so I can read it. But I put an 047 orange drop cap in here, which is connected to the wiper and grounded back to bleed off the higher level frequencies. Now this is a very simple tone circuit. It could be put into a guitar, an amp. You could even use it as a preamp for a digital amplifier. Um, this is a very basic circuit, but it does wonders for your sound. Uh, and again, you can switch out this modern for a vintage capacitor and get a whole new sound. Uh, these old oil and paper capacitors, they leak a little bit of DC voltage across them. Uh, capacitors work on older or on AC voltage, which is everything that the guitar wiring is, is alternating current. Uh, but these here guys, they let a little DC leak and they act a little funny, so they give a different sound. More of what we would have heard in the 60s and 70s. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And check out our new video every day.